Jesse, Ira, Beachy, and family, come on up. Come on down. Let me get this out of the way. <clears throat> so we'll just miss the, um, the kids after this, because they, they need to see this. What's up, dude? So if we want to have... <laughs> He likes the beard. Hey, obviously, mine's better than his dad. So, well, uh, let's have let's have yeah, um, parents and siblings over here, aunts and uncles. I should have told you that before. Sorry, You're doing great. <laughs> he likes me. God delights in children. He takes great pleasure in them. They are one of the greatest gifts he gives husbands and wives. Psalm 127, 3 proclaims that sons are a heritage from the Lord. Children are a reward from him. Because children are a gift from God, it is natural that Christian parents present and dedicate their child to God. That's awesome. In the Gospels, we read that people brought little children and babies to Jesus so that he might place his hands on them and pray for them. In the same way, Josh and Rachel today bring their son, Jesse, presenting first themselves and then Jesse before the Lord our God. Accompanying them and making this commitment are their families. And witnessing this as well is Ray Lynn, who is not a Sam fan. (laughs) She has good taste. Josh and Rachel, I call your attention to the commands of God recorded in Holy Scripture. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 7 tells us, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, is our, the Lord our God is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Proverbs 10.1 reminds us that a wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish son grief to his mother. The best thing moms and dads can teach their child is the fear of the Lord. For Proverbs 1.7 tells us this is the beginning of knowledge. In other words, a successful application of all that Jesse learns in life depends on him first learning to fear, respect, and follow God. So the church urges you, Josh and Rachel, to love God with every ounce and fiber of your being and teach Jesse to do the same. As you love God, one another, and Ray Lynn, as well as Jesse, you will model before him a wonderful love for God that he will want for himself. Josh and Rachel, by coming forward before God and yourselves and Jesse to the Lord, I'm sorry, And his people, do you hereby declare your desire to dedicate yourselves and Jesse to the Lord? If so, please respond by saying, we do. We do. He's he's fine. (laughs) Having come freely, I ask now that you enter into the following commitment in the presence of God and his people. So that Jesse may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers. Do you, Josh and Rachel, vow by God, let me kind of turn towards you. <laughs> vow, not because of him, because I want, I want to make sure we're focused, right? Vow by God's help and in partnership with the church to provide Jesse <laughs> a Christian home of love and peace. To raise him in the truth of our Lord's instruction and discipline. And to encourage him one day to trust Jesus Christ as his Savior and Lord. If so, say, we do. For encouragement and fulfilling these vows, Josh and Rachel call upon their families, and they're kind of split, so. (laughs) There's great pride in seeing a new generation of family, and how that joy is reinforced when children are raised to fear God. To this end, I ask you the following questions. By coming toward or forward before God and His people, do you hereby declare your desire to help Josh and Rachel Fulfill the vow they have made today. If so, respond by saying, we do. We do. Having come freely, I ask now that you enter into the following commitment, so that Jesse may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers. Do you vow by God's help to pray for and encourage Josh and Rachel in their effort to raise Jesse 
in the fear of the Lord, so that he might receive our Lord's guidance and instruction? If so, respond by saying, we do. Finally, I ask that the church make a vow as well. As believers in the body of Christ, we have a responsibility to teach the gospel story to our younger generation. In fact, the Old Testament, Prophet Joel commands us to tell of God's work to your children and let your children tell it to their children and their children to the next generation. So I direct my questions now to the congregation. Being present in God's house today, do you hereby declare yourselves to be the children of God because you trust in Jesus Christ alone for the forgiveness of sins and the gift of eternal life? If this is true, respond by saying, we do. We do. Would you please stand? Having come freely, I ask now that you make the following commitment before God and those who stand before you, so that Jesse may walk in the abundant life that Christ offers. Do you vow by God's help to be faithful in your calling as members of the body of Christ, to help Josh and Rachel to be faithful to God, and to help teach and train Jesse and Raylan in the ways of the Lord so that he might one day trust him as Savior and Lord? If you accept responsibility, please respond by saying, we do. We do. Let's pray. Can I have him? Hey, Bubba. <laughs> now he knows God's here, right? Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for Jesse. We thank you for family. We thank you for people who love you and who are trying to serve you faithfully. We ask that you give us the strength, the wisdom, and the knowledge to help Josh and Rachel, raise uh, any and all children they may have in your love and in your light. We ask for help for the family to help support this family, knowing that they are not alone. They have help from you, from them, and from us. And be with Josh and Rachel. May they, above all else, seek your counsel, your wisdom, and your guidance in raising these children up. May they be patient May they have grace with themselves and grace with their children. Thank you, Lord, for this family. Thank you for Jesse. Thank you for children. Amen. You, my friend, have good taste. <laughs> so we have a, a small gift. I say small, but it really isn't small. It's a Bible um, for Jesse. And then, oh yeah, I think it's over here. A certificate of, of his dedication. Thank you all so much. I'll just keep them, it's fine. Right. BL kids, you are dismissed. You may be seated.